Hi guys, Hi. I'm back with some more Borderlands content, and if you're looking for the easiest way to get diamond keys, then this video is for you, as I'll be showing you multiple methods to get your hands on these, from the legit ways to the uh, not so legit. <laughs> right, so we should probably get started. Now if you somehow don't know what diamond keys are, or where the diamond key room is at all, it can be found right here, at the front of the ship in Sanctuary. It's basically right under the flight deck here. And diamond keys are just like golden keys on steroids. Oh, fuck yeah! And instead of a small chance to get some legendary gear, it's pretty much guaranteed. This is literally the greatest thing that has ever happened! Remember, once you take anything from a wall, it shuts itself off. So again, you can only get up to four pieces of loot at one time. One from each of these walls. And then a bonus item once the timer runs out. So once you get yourself a key or 10 or 50 or say a thousand or more, you can easily use them here to get some pretty decent legendary gear. But this is all dependent on you having diamond keys to begin with. So let's move on to the farming methods. I'll start with the legit way to farm diamond keys. That would be farming vault cards for diamond keys. Now this is only really available if you have the Director's Cut DLC. With this, you'll have access to vault cards, and as soon as you can, you'll want to activate whichever card it is you plan on using. But the basics of it are that you can earn XP and get extra loot just by playing the game. There are also daily and weekly challenges that give you an XP boost. And as you level up your card, you'll score a vault card chest that's unique to the vault card that you've currently got activated. Inside these chests, you can get anything from a piece of gear, a cosmetic item, iridium, a vault card key, or even a diamond key. Although diamond keys are rare, you can legitimately farm them just by playing the game. Now before we move on to the next methods, I need to ask your help. YouTube went and demonetized my channel due to me suffering from long COVID and being unable to post for a while. So please show them that this channel is not dead and keep their algorithm happy by hitting that like button, leaving a comment down below, subscribing to let them know that you really like this kind of content, and sharing this video to anyone you think this may help. Seriously, anything you could do would be an amazing help. Right, so with my drama out of the way, let's move on to the next methods. Now the easiest method for infinite keys is the farming glitch, and this method relies on you having already used a shift code to unlock a diamond key, so that you have a diamond key ready to redeem in your inventory in your mail. But you can't have used it already. And unfortunately, at the time of recording this, there are no active diamond key shift codes for me to tell you. And there aren't even permanent diamond key shift codes like there are for golden keys. However, if a shift code does come out, I'll try and leave it in the description down below. Right, now you may already know this method, but if you don't, it's basically identical to the golden key farming glitch. To do this, simply load up the game online, and then once online, go into your settings and go offline, before you claim your keys. Now, simply redeem a key, and then save and quit to the menu. Then, reload, and reclaim the key again. It's really that simple. Seriously, you can do this over and over and over again, as many times as you need. Again, this method is identical for both golden keys and diamond keys, so if you know how to do the golden key method, the diamond key is exactly the same. But if you accidentally forgot and went and claimed your keys online, then you're stuck until you can get another shift code. But don't worry, there are still some other tricks we can use. This next method is useful if you accidentally claimed your keys online, like me. But you still haven't used them yet. Now you can easily do this solo, as all you need is a dummy account as player 2. All you need to do to have unlimited keys is ensure that your save is backed up to the cloud and then go into your settings and go offline. Now you can use your diamond key without ever having to worry about it running out, provided you do the next steps correctly. So run around, grab all the gear you want and then simply trade the items to your dummy account. Make sure your dummy account saves and exits. Now delete your main save and reload while online. This will resync your save and you'll have your diamond keys back. And 
to get your gear. Simply trade it back to yourself from your dummy account. If you're not new to this channel, you'll know I call my dummy account Carl. That way, every time I need to do this, I just call in Carl! 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 Now, if you're on PC or PlayStation, there's an even easier method. As you can simply back up your profile, as the keys are saved separately to the main save. So before using a key, remember to back up your profile, then simply jump in game and use as many keys as you can. That way you can take full advantage of the diamond loot room without ever having to worry about losing a key. So after you're finished running around here and grabbing everything you can, after saving your game, simply restore your profile, which has your keys from before you used them. Here, you can see that, once again, I have 50 keys back, and still have the gear that I acquired from the diamond loot room. Just be careful, because if you do it this way, do not put any new loot back into your bank, as when you restore your profile, anything you've added will be lost. Now for these next methods, I would normally give you a word of warning, but... You are micromanaging! Exactly. You guys are grown-ass adults, so you can decide whether you want to use these or not. Now if you don't have any keys at all, and you can't wait to unlock one via a shift code or even via a vault card if you have the director's cut, you could always drop yourself a diamond key from a modded save. This method is as easy as it sounds. Simply grab yourself a modded save from your favorite location, and ideally give it to your dummy account to drop off to yourself, or even use your own account and put some keys into your bank for later use by your actual main save. So how exactly do these work? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Simply drop the keys out of your backpack and collect them. Ta-da! Unlimited keys. <laughs> awesome! Now this method does work for Xbox users too. All it takes is some cross-platform gameplay. So you'll either need someone who plays on PC or have the game on both PC and Xbox. That way, you can either have a key dropped off to you whenever you need it, or better yet, trade it to yourself. If you trade these back to your dummy account, it's even easier, as you can now go offline, have the dummy account drop the keys to you whenever you need them, and then delete the dummy account save. So when it resyncs, it'll have the keys again. Now the last method for PC users is using a trainer. And there are obviously trainers for Borderlands 3 that give you options that go far beyond giving yourself unlimited keys. And this one is straightforward. Simply find the option for unlimited keys and then use it in-game. Again, I'm just giving you guys the options here. Personally, I'm more for using the legit options if I can. And the built-in glitch. But that's just me. And I'm not here to tell you whether you should or shouldn't do this, or how to enjoy a game that you spent cold hard cash on. That's for you to decide. You do you. Anyway, I hope this guide helps you guys out. Please remember to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any future content. And if you think this can help someone else, give it a share. Yes! All we ever set out to do was become monstrously famous with minimal effort, but...